an American by the name of Marvin Heer, Rabbi Marvin Heer, who founded the Wiesenthal Center in California, and who has become rich as a big player in the Holocaust industry, has hired the famous architect Frank Gehry, formerly known as Frank Goldberg, to design a spectacular $200 million Museum of Tolerance in Jerusalem. The real kicker is where they want to plop this overgrown vacuum cleaner, a Muslim cemetery. Number one to the right is the old city of Jerusalem. About a mile to your left is a diamond-shaped area with numbers in it, roughly what used to be, before 1948, the ancient Muslim cemetery of Mamilla. Only a quarter of the cemetery is left. The rest has been bulldozed over by the Israelis for a park and buildings. The park is called Independence Park for the War of 1948, but God knows why they call it that. Nearly all of the Zionist fighters who had terrorized the native population off its land were immigrants from Europe. Even today, 80% of Israeli Jews are foreign-born. So I went to Jerusalem to see exactly where they were going to put this Gary Goldberg vacuum cleaner. I found the remaining portion of this proud ancient cemetery to be in a disgraceful condition. From 1948, the Muslims have not been permitted to bury anyone here or to maintain the gravesites of their ancestors. I came across a caretaker's cottage. The weird painted colors of the cottage are shocking compared to the pale grays of the deteriorating tombstones. I suppose another intended insult. The caretaker's only task seems to be to maintain a handsome paved stone path through the cemetery. Then it became obvious to me why this small and dilapidated portion of Mamilla Cemetery has been allowed by the Israelis to survive. It serves as a showcase to tourists and Israeli Jews of what happens to the enemies of Israel. This indeed is powerful outdoor theater. It occurred to me also that Rabbi Heer and the Wiesenthal Center should not confuse this showcase's mighty message by planting a museum of tolerance here, however facetious they intended to be. Instead, I suggest they drop the Gary Goldberg vacuum cleaner on one of the numerous checkpoints that Palestinians are forced to endure each day. That way the Palestinians, every man, woman, and child of them, will be compelled to see for themselves all those mournful exhibits showing how the Jews have been tormented for 2,000 years and just how right and virtuous it is now that they finally have their turn to torment. Oh, mm -hmm.